Welcome sa ikalawang bahagi ng ating video lesson sa Operations and Functions. At sa video lesson na ito ay pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa Multiplication and Division of Functions. The objectives for this video lesson are the following. First, perform multiplication of functions. And second, perform division of functions. Bago tayo mag-start ng ating lesson sa Multiplication and Division of Functions, so review muna natin yung uh, rules sa pag-multiply at pag-divide ng integers. Now, ang first natin dito na guide, we have here the product or quotient of two positive numbers is positive. So, ibig sabihin, pag tayo daw ay nag-multiply or nag-divide ng dalawang positive numbers, ang magiging result nito ay isang positive na number. Halimbawa, find the product or quotient of the following. Number 1, positive 12 plus positive 4. Now, since parehong positive yung ating numbers na nakalagay dito, it is expected na ang magiging result nito ay isang positive number din. So, with that, ang magiging answer natin sa number 1 ay positive 48. Para naman sa ating second item, positive 10 times positive 3. So, since both of them are positive, this will give us positive 30. And for number 3, we have here positive 15 divided by positive 3. This will give us positive 5. And for the last one, positive 24 divided by 8, this will give us positive 3. So, lagi nating tatandaan na pag tayo ay nag-multiply or nag-divide ng dalawang numbers na positive ang sign pareho, ang magiging, uh, magiging sign ng result natin ay positive din. Ang next naman natin na guide sa pag-multiply at pag-divide ng integers ay ito. The product or quotient of two negative numbers is positive. So, nakalagay dito, na pag tayo ay nag-multiply or nag-divide ng dalawang numbers na parehong negative, ang magiging result nito ay positive. Halimbawa, find the product or quotient of the following numbers. Number 1, negative 12 times negative 4. Ang magiging sagot natin dito ay positive 48. Pangalawa, negative 10 times negative 3. This will give us positive 30. For number 3, negative 15 divided by negative 3. This will give us positive 5. At ang apat, negative 24 divided by negative 8, this will give us positive 3. Lagi nating tatandaan na pag tayo ay nag-multiply or nag-divide ng dalawang negative na number, ang magiging result nito ay positive. Para naman sa ating next na guide para sa pag-multiply at pag-divide ng isang positive at isang negative na number, we have this one. The product or quotient of a positive or a negative number is negative. Ibig sabihin, Pag tayo ay nag-multiply or nag-divide ng dalawang numbers na kung saan ang isa sa kanila ay positive at ang isa naman ay negative, ang magiging result nito ay isang negative na number. Halimbawa, find the product or quotient of the following. Number 1, negative 12 times positive 4. Since magkaiba sila ng sign, ang magiging result natin dito ay negative. So the answer for number 1 is negative 48. At para naman sa number 2, positive 10 times negative 3, ang magiging result nito ay negative 30. At para sa number 3, negative 15 divided by positive 3, this will give us negative 5. And for number 4, 24 divided by negative 8, this will give us negative 3. Let us now proceed to the discussion on multiplication of functions. Now, para ma-perform natin yung multiplication of functions, dalawang bagay lang ang kailangan nating tandaan. Una ay yung guide natin sa pagmumultiply natin ng integers. Pangalawa, yung ating law of exponent. Para sa link ng video ng law of exponent, tingnan lamang ito sa description box. Para makuha natin yung product ng two functions, we have here the form f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. Example, given the functions f of x equals 2x plus 10, g of x equals 6x minus 8, and h of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 5. Let us find letter A, f times g of x, and letter B, g of x times h of x. For letter A, f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. So una natin kokopihin ngayon yung ating function f followed by our function g. Sa result, f times g of x is equal to yung ating function f, which is yung 2x plus 10, at yung ating namang function g, which is yung 6x minus 8. Pagkatapos nyan, to distribute lang natin 
yung ating first na function sa ating second na function. So dito, inuna muna natin yung 2x at minultiply natin siya sa ating second na function which is yung 6x minus 8. At yung second term ng ating first na function which is yung positive 10 ay minultiply natin sa ating second function na 6x minus 8. Pagkatapos niyan, i-distribute lang natin term by term yung mga expressions na nasa labas. So dito, 2x times 6x, that will give us positive 12x squared. 2x times negative 8, that will give us negative 16. Sa atin namang second na group, we have here positive 10 times positive 6x, that will give us positive 60x. And positive 10 times negative 8, that will give us negative 80. Pagkatapos niyan ay pag, uh, pagsasamahin na natin yung ating terms na magkapareho ang kanilang literal coefficient. So in this case, ang like terms natin dito ay yung negative 16x and 60x. So pag pinagsama natin yung dalawang terms na yan, ang magiging result natin dito ay 12x squared. And the negative 16x plus 60x, that will give us positive 44x. And then kukopihin lang natin yung ating last term which is yung minus 80. So, ang answer natin for letter A for f times g of x is equal to 12x squared plus 44x minus 80. Para naman sa letter B, g times h of x is equal to g of x times h of x. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, kukopihin muna natin yung ating first na function which is yung function g followed by our second function which is yung function h. As a result, we have here g times h of x is equal to 6x minus 8 times x squared plus 4x minus 5. At kagaya rin lang ng ginawa natin kanina, yung ating terms sa ating first dito na expression ay i-distribute lang natin sa ating second na function. So as a result, magkakaroon tayo ngayon dito ng 6x times our second function which is x squared plus 4x minus 5. At yung ating second term naman sa ating first na function, we have here minus 8 times yung ating second function na x squared plus 4x minus 5. And after that, i-distribute lang natin sila term by term. We have here 6x times x squared. That will give us 6x cubed. Next, 6x times 4x that will give us 24x squared. And the last one, 6x times negative 5, that will give us negative 30x. At para naman sa ating pangalawang term, we have here negative 8 times positive x squared. Ang magiging sagot niyan ay negative 8x squared. Next, negative 8 times positive 4x. Ang magiging sagot niyan ay negative 32x. At negative 8 times negative 5, ang magiging sagot niyan ay positive 40. Now, pagkatapos natin ma-distribute or ma-multiply yung mga values na yon, ang next natin ngayon na gagawin ay pagsasamahin natin yung ating like terms. So, ang 6x cubed ay wala itong kapartner. Ang 24x squared meron itong kapartner which is yung negative 8x squared. So 24x squared minus 8x squared, that will give us positive 16x squared. Ang next naman natin ay ang negative 30x at itong negative 32x. Pag pinagsama natin itong dalawa, negative 30x minus 32x, that will give us negative 62x. At kukopihin lang natin yung ating last term kasi wala naman siyang kapartner, which is yung positive 40. So therefore, for our g of x times h of x, it is equal to 6x cubed plus 16x squared minus 62x plus 40. Para naman sa ating next na operation, which is ang division of function, ang mga concepts na ating kailangan ay ang mga sumusunod. Una ay ang pag-divide natin ng integers, pangalawa ay ang law of exponent, at pangatlo ay ang factoring. In order to find the quotient of two functions, we have here the form f over g of x is equal to f of x over g of x. Example, 
given the functions f of x equals 2x plus 10, g of x equals 6x minus 8, and h of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 5, let us find f over g of x and h of x over f of x. For letter A, f over g of x is equal to f of x over g of x. So ang isusulat natin ngayon sa ating numerator ay yung ating function f, which is yung 2x plus 10 at yung ating namang denominator ay yung uh, 6x minus 8, which is yung ating function g of x. Pagkatapos niyan, ay titingnan natin kung pwede pa nating masimplify yung ating uh, expression dito. So, gamit yung mga concepts natin sa pagpa-factor out ng ating mga expressions, ang pwede natin i-apply dito ay factoring using the greatest common factor. So, pag sinabi natin greatest common factor, ito yung number, pinakamalaking number na, na pwedeng makadivide sa bawat expressions na nandito. So, in this case, for 2x plus 10, ang pwedeng makadivide sa kanila ay positive 2. Ganun din sa 6x minus 8. So, extracting our common factor, we will have here 2 times x plus 5 for 2x plus 10. While for 6x minus 8, we have here 2 times 3x minus 4. And then, kung mapapansin natin, since uh, meron tayong common na factor, so pwede nating uh, makancel out yung common factor na yun. So in this case, makakancel out natin yung positive 2. And once na nakancel out na natin yan, ang magiging result natin ngayon ay x plus 5 over 3x minus 4. So ibig sabihin, para sa f over g of x, ang answer natin ay x plus 5 over 3x minus 4. At para naman sa ating uh, susunod na given, we have here h of uh, h over f of x is equal to h of x over f of x. At kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, kukopihin natin yung equivalent ng ating function na, na nasa numerator at yung ating function na nasa denominator. So in this case, ang h of x natin ay x squared plus 4x minus 5 at ang f of x naman natin ay 2x plus 10. Now, sa ating numerator, since nag-involve na ito ng uh, trinomial, at wala naman tayo nakikita dito ang greatest common factor, so pwede nating i-apply yung iba pa nating uh, knowledge sa pag-factor out ng mga expressions. At this time, yung factoring general trinomial naman ang ating i-apply. So, getting the factors of x squared plus 4x minus 5, that will give us x plus 5 times x minus 1. At yung ating namang denominator, we have here 2x plus 10, so pwede natin i-apply dito yung factoring using the GCF. So, ang GCF na itong ating denominator ay positive 2, so magiging 2 times x plus 5 yung equivalent ng 2x plus 10. At kung mapapansin natin uli dito sa ating isinulat na expressions, meron tayong common factor which is yung x plus 5. So, since common siya sa ating numerator and denominator, pwede natin siyang i-cancel out. So, as a result, Ang matitira na lang sa ating numerator ay ang x minus 1 at sa ating namang denominator ay ang positive 2. So for h over f of x, that will give us x minus 1 over 2. At para sa ating last na given, for h over g of x, so this is equal to h of x over g of x. So substituting the value for h of x and g of x, that will give us x squared plus 4x minus 5 over 6x minus 8. And then, kung titignan natin uli yung factors ng ating numerator, kagaya ng factors ng kanina, that is x plus 5 times x minus 1. At yung ating namang denominator, ang kanyang factors na to ay 2 times x minus 4. Na kung mapapansin natin dito, wala tayong common factors na makikita sa ating numerator and denominator. So, ibig sabihin yan, yung ating second step kanina, ayun na yung ating final answer. So, ipinakita ko lang sa inyo yung mga factors ng ating numerator at denominator para makita ninyo kung meron ba silang common na factors or wala. Now, since wala silang common na factors, ito na yung magiging tarang sagot natin. Para sa huling part ng video lesson na ito, para ma-check kung inyong nasundan ang aking idiniscuss kanina, please try to answer the following. Given that our f of x is equal to x squared minus 4, g of x is equal to 2x squared plus 8x plus 8, and h of x is equal to x squared minus x minus 2. Please find the following. Letter A, f times g of x. Letter B, g of x times h of x. Letter C, g over f of x. 
and letter D, h of x over g of x. Pwede nyo munang i-pause yung ating video para kayo ay makapagsagot. Kung meron na kayong sagot, pwede nyo nang i-play uli ito. Start. At ito ang mga sagot sa bawat item na nandito. For letter A, f times g of x is equal to 2x raised to 4 plus 8x cubed minus 32x minus 32. Para naman sa letter B, g times a, uh, h of x is equal to 2x raised to 4 plus 6x cubed minus 4x squared minus 24x minus 16. For letter C, ang magiging sagot natin dito ay 2x plus 4 over x minus 2. And for letter D, we have here x squared minus x minus 2 over 2x squared plus 8x plus 8.